Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to the Investing Channel. In tonight's video, I'm going to do a video a little bit different from the ones I usually do, which is price predictions on coins. Um, but I'm going to do one on the indicator Fibonacci retracement. So we're going to take a look at a random chart on TradingView. Uh, we're going to pull up the Fibonacci retracement indicator, and we're going to apply it to the chart. And then we're going to talk about what it does, how it works, how you can modify it so that you can use it to your advantage. And then... Um, we'll give you guys a few examples, okay? So let's go ahead, we'll get started. Um, but before I do, if you're brand new, please look over here, there's a little icon in the corner of your screen. Subscribe, click that button and subscribe to the channel and then smack that bell when it pops up so that you're notified when I come up with the next video. Okay, so let me share my screen with you guys. Okay, so here I am in TradingView, okay? And this is the platform that I use in all my videos. I do a lot of price predictions for those of you guys that are new. You're gonna wanna check those out. Let me go over here. Here, I'm doing all sorts of price predictions on coins, talking about them, showing you guys how I come up with those entries and those exits. And you can see here, here's four right here that took profit. I've got two more that are going live tomorrow. And then down here, I have took profit, 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 took profit. So go check out my other videos, okay, after this one. Okay, so here we are in TradingView. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how the Fibonacci retracement works. And the button is right over here on the left side. It looks like four lines stacked. But let's go ahead and talk about what it is. What is that tool? I'm over here on Fidelity. We've got the Fibonacci retracement. You can see how it's spelled there if you want to make notes along the way. And what I'll do is I'll just kind of read it here. Um, the Fibonacci retracement tool plots percentage retracement lines based upon a mathematical relationship with the Fibonacci sequence. This retracement levels provide support and resistance levels that can be used to target price objectives. So I'm just going to kind of quickly explain this for those of you guys that are new to this. Uh, what happens is uh, on the chart, I'll be able to pick a low point, drag it up to a high point, and these lines appear, these red lines. And each of these are based upon a certain percentage within, within the, the, the range here, okay? So here we've got a 0%, and that 0% will correspond, the next number is the price that that line is on. So over here, that's the price. It shows up over here exactly where it's at so that you can easily see. Um, here is a 23.6% of the total of the top and the bottom, 23%, and next to it is the price the, the, uh, that that line is on, okay? The next one is the 38.2 with the price, the 50%, the 61.8%, and then ultimately the 100% down at the bottom. So what you can do with this is you can see that they're, depending upon which line you're looking at, you can see that oftentimes price action will either uh, hit resistance like it did right up here at the top, and then it came back down. It hit it twice, and it came back down, and it hit it right at those lines. But it also, it hit support right here. Hit support there, hit support there on the 23.6. Okay, over here, uh, right over here, it hit a support on the 50. It hit it again, almost right there on the 50. And then up here, it hit resistance on the 38.2. So as you're trying to guess as to where price action could stop and pivot, you can usually look at these lines and you can say, all right, I think that these are the areas that as I'm watching this price go up or go down, where it could, it could halt and change direction, okay? So uh, let me go ahead and go back to the chart. Here we are right here. Just a, It's a random coin. There's nothing important about it. I just picked a random one. I'm going to kind of show you guys first how to load up that indicator, and then I'm going to show you guys how you can modify that indicator to use it to another advantage that you probably haven't seen before. I learned about this on another YouTube channel, and I use it regularly when I'm analyzing coins. Okay. So let me go ahead. I'm going to load it up here. I'm just going to click on the little icon here. I have a little uh, hot list here uh, of my favorites that pop up. And what you do is you start off at a low point, like right here. And then what I do is I drag it up. I'll drag it up to the high point, which is right there. But you want to drag it over a little bit more. You want to go to the top of the wick, or you want to go to the bottom of the wick. You don't want to go to the candle. You want to go to the wick because price action actually went that high up or it went that low down before you know reversing. Okay, and then what you do is when you get to that point, I'm going to I'm going to go there and I'm going to drag it over along here and I'm going to let go. Okay, so now I can see that the tw the 23 percent, the 23.6 percent is right here. It's on it's at the point zero zero four zero. Okay, which means the price, the 38, uh, 38 percent. Point two is at the point zero zero three seven. So the pricing is right here next to these percentages. Okay. 
And so what you can see here uh, on this particular way, going from bottom to top, is that um, we've got resistance up here. There's a little line right here that shows resistance too. Uh, we've got more resistance here. We've got another uh, resistance right here. So this line right here is very important. Um, we've got some uh, support down here on the, uh, on the 50. Uh, we've got support just past it a little bit, but around the 78, it reversed and it went back up. We've got support over here. We've got resistance over here. So you can see oftentimes that these will hit these lines. They'll come close to them, they'll, they'll linger around it, and then they'll change directions, okay? So you can use that to your advantage. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'll keep explaining. Stay with me, guys. I'm gonna show you some stuff that you haven't seen before. Hold on. Let's go the opposite way now. Okay, so I'm gonna go from top down towards bottom and I'm gonna drag it across, okay? So same thing. Um, this is uh, support right here. We've got resistance right here at this line. We've got uh, resistance right here at this line. We've got support over here. We've got resistance up in here. We've got support over here. So you can see that these lines that are getting drawn are, are areas where price action is going to pivot and, and make a change or, or come down and then pivot back up, OK? All right, so let me show you guys how you can modify this to work to your advantage. Hold on just a second. Clear this. OK, so what I've done is I have uh, modified one that I had seen on another video. And this time I'm going to go from, uh, I'll go from bottom to top. So let me load it up here. And you'll see it's a little bit different. And let me explain what it is, how it works. And then I'll show you guys how you can change your settings so that it looks like this, OK? OK, um, so let me get this out of this. So we're going from bottom up to top. And let me show you. See this little area right here? These two little lines close together. That's kind of like the, uh, it's called the golden area. Other people call it, you know, various things, but it's kind of like a golden area that you kind of will use to your benefit. So uh, when price actions, you know, when, when you're in kind of an upward trend market, the, the idea here is to buy within those lines, somewhere around those two lines, because more often than not, when you're on an upward trend, even though if price action drops, it'll continue to go up. So let me show you guys here. So you can see here, if I would have bought here, I could have taken profit anywhere along in here. Now, oftentimes your screen is gonna look like this. We have the loudest plane outside. Okay, you're gonna look like this and you're not gonna be able to, you're not gonna actually be able to see what's beyond, you know, because you went from the bottom to the top and you can't see what's in the future, right? But, you know, if you bought anywhere in this area after you hit a top and a bottom, you know, once you mark those two spots and you buy in that golden range, then if you slide over, you will see that the pricing continued to go up. And what it is, what it did is as it hit these levels, it lingered here. So a potential sell, it lingered kind of up in this area, a potential sell, and it lingered up over here. Now you don't know how many levels it's going to climb, but it'll give you an indication as to where you could potentially mark your take profit at. Okay. And that's, that's on the buy side when you use that. Let me go over here and let me show you what it would be like if you're wanting to sell. So let's say you own this coin. Um, let me start from the top. I'll drag it down to the bottom and bring it over a little bit. Okay, let me get over here. So let's pretend that this is all we can see right now. Okay, we got the top, we got the bottom, we just drew our lines. And this is kind of the sell area. Okay, so I'm already in it. I've come in a little bit later and I've done an analysis and I'm looking at selling. Okay, so uh, this is the area, that golden area is the area that you wanna consider selling. This is more on a downward trend uh, when you're, you know, when it's bearish, okay? Okay, so you would put your sell point somewhere within there. So you would put it, you know, in the future. So you're looking roughly around 0041. Right now on this screen, it's 0 0.0030. So let's move ahead in time as if we were predicting the future. And as we move, look, it jumped up. It hit that range right there. And what did it do? It immediately hit that range, broke through it a little bit, and then dropped right back down. So by knowing that that's the range to sell within on a downward trend, then that is the area that you could set your take profit. Okay. So same thing. If um, let me let me do another example here. Let me kind of change this a little bit. Let me find another one here I can go with. Just give me a second. Okay. All right, so let's do another downward trend. I'll pick the top. 
I'll drag it down to the bottom and let me expand this. So we've got our top and we've got our bottom. Let's pretend we can't see into the future, right? We only, we only highlighted our top and our bottom. This is the range right here on a cell. It's roughly around 0 0.006. And if we start to move through time, we will see that it hit it there, right there. And if we keep going, it hit there. Okay, so that's a good indication as to that's a potential area to sell at. Okay, um, because you're 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 doing the top and the bottom. So you did the top and you did the bottom. And now let's say price action is you know um, kind of like this. Let's say this is a better version. We mark the top. We mark the bottom. We let go. Price right now on this on this map is 0 0.004. But we saw up here that the golden area is somewhere up around here 0 0.006. So what we would do is we would log into our exchange. We would set our uh, our take profit at somewhere you know in that 0 0.0067 range, and then as time moved by, boom, it hit it right there. Go a little bit further. Keep going the time. Keep going. Boom, it hit it again. It would have taken me out, so I would have been able to buy in, you know, somewhere down here, and I would have been able to sell somewhere up here. So it's an indication. And what happens is it hit that point, it dropped. It hit that point, an area of support and resistance, and then it dropped. I mean, you could also use these other lines. You could use the 50, you know, whatever you want. But, you know, if you, the, you don't want to always just jump up to the top because it, look, let's see if it hit the top. See, it hit that point again. It hit that point again. It hit that point. It hit it one, two, three, four, five times before it retraced and it went back down. So that is a good area. It's the golden area. It's the area that you want to, you know, try to use to your advantage. You don't want to always go with like the ones higher because look, it, it hasn't hit that in a while. See, it's still not hitting it. It's still not hitting it. And then it dropped. Price action dropped. Hold on, let me get rid of that. Okay, so let me share with you guys the uh, settings for the way in which this golden area can appear on your uh, TradingView platform. If you don't have TradingView, look down below in the description. Uh, just below the video, there's some uh, text words that say see more. And if you click on it, it'll expand the description and you can find a link to a 30 day trial to trading view. Okay. All right. So let me double click on this. And here is the coordinates. And if you guys want to take a photo of this, it might be easier for you than writing it all down. But what I basically did is uh, I came in here and I got rid of all these other lines. Okay. I got rid of them. I changed the color coding. So if you guys want to take a photo with your cell phone, you can. And then I added in this line right here, the 0.65. The point we have the 0.61 is the gold, and we have the 0.65 is the yellow. And then I uncheck marked all the other ones. Okay. And then as I went down, I changed the background. I see if, if I drag it over, see behind over here, it the, the background starts to change. You can make it as dark as you want, or you can make it as light as you want. Just because I like to keep things visually easy, I brought it all the way down so I don't see anything. I just want to see the lines. And then the levels. You can do the levels right here. You can choose you know, levels. You can choose where you want the pricing, uh, if you want it in the middle or if you want it on the right side. So there's a bunch of things you can do here. So let me let, me let you take a photo of that. You might want to stop the video. And then uh, if you move it up a little bit, you can take another photo. And then I'll move it all the way down to the bottom. And you can take the last photo, okay? And then what you do is you click save and it'll give you the option over here under template to be able to save as, and you can name it whatever you want, okay? It's under the template section over there. Then you click okay. And so how you get that to that is this little icon right here when it pops up. You'll be able to click on it and you'll be able to go, to go either to the default one, which is like that. Or if I click on it again, I can go to my, the one I saved. I called it my fib. You can call it whatever you want. Okay, and then it appears. And then to get rid of it, all you do is click on the arrow, you click on the one of the lines and you hit the delete button and it disappears. So that's how you use the Fibonacci retracement. Um, for those of you guys that are new, uh, this is what I do. I uh, jump into coins. I share with you guys the entry and the exit. Um, once those come around and they swing back, because more often they swing back, I, uh, I'll do a video once it takes profit. And I've been trading for a long time. Uh, well, I mean, since the pandemic. So I've been trading. I got a lot here that have cleared. You can see all these ones in green that have cleared. The red ones, I was using stop losses. I don't use that anymore. Um, and I don't uh, I don't jump out of trades anymore. I think I jumped out of one trade in like the last six months. Okay. So I got a whole bunch that are clearing. 
I got my videos. You guys can come over and watch them and click on my username and you can see what I'm doing. It's different from what you guys just watched on the Fibonacci. Okay. So please go check me out, pick out any coin here and you guys can watch. They're all very similar and you guys can see what my predictions are. And then here I'm doing videos. I got two more coming available tomorrow that took profit. So there's six here within the, just the last couple of days. And then down here, I've got more. And as these, all the ones in green have been taking profit. Okay. And um, these other ones, I'm just waiting for them to come around. Okay. And I have a Instagram account. You guys can go follow. It's called investing points. If you go over there and you click follow, you can see some videos that I've done for other people. I have a lot of people that add comments uh, in my videos and say, Hey, can you do an analysis on this coin that I'm stuck in? Uh, can you tell me if I bought within the range? Am I right in with the range that you, you think I should be in? And where do you see it potentially going? Where's the potential take profit? And I'll look at the charts and I'll let you guys know. And I do little videos like this and I post them for you guys to be able to look at and learn and see what I'm thinking. Okay. So, um, that's it for this video. Please give it a thumbs up down below. If this has helped you or provided you guys some helpful information. There's a little icon just below the video. It looks like a thumbs up sign. If you could tap it with your finger or tap it with your mouse, that helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And uh, remember, subscribe over here. I'll be doing more indicator videos for you guys and other, uh, other videos on maybe uh, news related items. So thank you guys for watching and I'll have this uploaded for March 5th. All right. Thanks guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.